Hi guys, today I'm coming at you with 11 Bloxburg building tips to up your building game. Keep watching. Alright guys, so the first building tip I have for you is the porch slash stair illusion. So basically what you want to do is you want to go to roof you want to go choose a flat roof this is important and you want to go to the bottom level more commonly called the basement so you want to choose manual placement and you can make this platform any size you want so for this video i'm just going to do this regular uh, square and if you go over here to change grid size medium and then small grid size you can change this to literally any height so i'm just gonna do regular height like so and you can see we have a nice uh platform here that we can literally put anything you want on you can put chairs on it uh let me demonstrate here you can literally put chairs on it it's perfect for uh making a porch it's great and for the stairs part of it i can do the same thing a little bit smaller this time there we go do that and I can make a shorter one and there we go that is the porch slash stair illusion all right the next tip is placing lights in straight lines this is very important if you want your house to look nice and neat you should always avoid putting lights everywhere in a room and them not being straight it just does not look good at all so what you want to do is go large grid size and place all of your lights straight there we go as you can see they're all perfectly straight and lined up with each other it looks fantastic it still lights up a room you don't have to worry about it not lighting up the room by you having to place like a bunch of lights everywhere it does it completely it looks great and it looks nice and neat. Also, another added tip to this is making the lights warm. So I always go for nougat or linen. So for this, I'm gonna use linen and this really makes it look 10 times better because just having generic white lights, it just, it looks a little too bright. So when you do uh, nougat, it just makes it look much warmer, makes it look much better. Here you can see that it just looks really warm, still lights up the room. You can even put one in the middle there if you want more light and you can use lamps around the house that you're building. That is tip number two. All right, for tip number three, it's going to be placing a bunch of light switches to make it look like there's more than one light switch on one light switch. <laughs> I'll show you. So. You know how in houses there is more than one light switch on a light switch, if that makes any sense? That's what I'm going to be doing. So since you can't actually control different lights in Bloxburg yet, you can make it look like that. I think that's what I was trying to do. Um, just doing that, it makes it look so much more realistic. So that is tip number three. I love this tip. Okay, for tip number four, it's going to be putting lights underneath cabinets. This is completely optional with any house you build. I just think it's a great detail to add to any house that you're building. If you have the extra money for it, it really looks good. So I'm going to place a cabinet like so and just a counter. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna pick a horizontal neon light and you wanna put it underneath whatever cabinet. Uh, that you have I think that that looks good and make sure if you're gonna have any kind of backsplash that you put these first and be able to place it over the light so I usually make these linen as I said make these any color you want just think that linen looks the best once you're inside of a house it looks very nice detailed um, it's nice to add to any house and that was tip number four okay for tip number five put lights inside pools so i'm gonna show you 
how to do that. I'm just going to get a basic shallow pool and to put lights inside of it, you want to go back to the basement floor here and then you just want to line the inside of the pool with walls. Once you've done that, you want to color them white. Of course you can use any color walls, I just think the white looks the best. And now you use the sleek ceiling light, is what I use anyway. You can also use the horizontal neon lamp, but I think that these look good inside the pool. So I'm going to make the second color that is smoky gray, I'm going to make it institutional white. Then I'm going to color the actual light, I'm going to color it um, bright bluish green or baby blue or any of these nice blue colors. I'm just going to do electric blue. I think that looks really nice. And duplicate it and I'm going to move it over here. I just think this is nice extra detail. It makes it look so much nicer. So as you can see here, I just think it looks adds a very nice uh, ambience to the pool, just really nice. You can also use warm colored lights. That also looks good, but I just think this looks especially good. And that was tip number five. Okay, for tip number six, I'm gonna be showing you how to do wallpaper. This is another good tip. I really like this one. It's only for if you have the extra money to cover a room or one wall with wallpaper. So what you wanna do is go to decorations and you want to get the wide full wall painting. And once you've done that, you want to go over here and we type in wallpaper. There's this one, kind of looks mosaic, but you know, you get the basic idea. You can use any uh, painting you want. That's just how you do wallpaper. And that was tip number six. Tip number seven is colors to avoid using when you're building. A color that you shouldn't use is neon colors like these and this and um, just like reds, like super bright colors you should avoid using when you're building. Also avoid using bright pinks. These colors are colors you should avoid, just any neon looking color you should avoid using when you're building a house. It just does not look good at all. So don't use it for the outside or the inside or even in a child's room. And that was tip number seven. Tip number eight is avoid using slanted walls when you're building. Do not use slanted walls like this, please. Do not use that. Um, it kind of messes with the roof and it just, it makes it very difficult for you to build when you use slanted walls like this. Just don't do that. Don't, it's like, it depends on the kind of house you're building. Just don't do drastic like slants like this when you're building the exterior of your house. They don't really make it look good. All right, that was tip number eight. All right, tip number nine is lining up your windows. This is very important. A lot of people don't do this with their houses. Just please line up your windows. They don't even have to be like completely lined up. It just depends on the rooms that you have. Make sure that you use the same windows or the same kind of windows. It looks much better versus You don't want this happening, it just doesn't look good at all. That was tip number nine. Okay people, we're almost done. Tip number 10 is layering your floors. This looks amazing. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that when you're doing your floor, whatever size it is, whatever size the room is, make sure you remember what placing points you used. So you want to remember where you placed it, here, 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 and here. I'm going to show you why you have to remember it when I'm done. So I'm going to do pine cone or brown. Actually, I'll just do brown and I'll do planks long. Here, I will duplicate this and again, remembering where I placed it. See, it really brings out the textures, makes it look so much more detailed. A lot of people don't know this. It just looks so much better. I love this. I'll show you why you should not, uh, why you should remember where to put it. So if you do it like this, just placing it anywhere, you'll see that it looks like hashed like that. It just does not look good at all. 
So you just remember where you put it the first time and keep doing it until you get it where you want it. I've never tried layering it more than three, um, but I'm sure the more that you layer it, like the thicker the layer will get, the, the more detailed it'll look. So I only do it three. I think it only needs to be layered three. And that looks great. That was tip number 10. All right guys, tip number 11, last but not least, is don't build boxy houses. So don't build houses that or their shapes are just like this. It just, it looks very basic. It's, I've made this mistake many times where you just build a straight up and down box house with more boxes added onto it. Windows aren't straight. It just does not look good. But basically this is what every house will look like if you do it that way. Just don't do that. Try adding more definition into the house. So I'll show you how to do that. Just some common shapes that you can do. Try building houses like this. I still struggle with this. Just trying to get the house to be like not a box, but at the same time not looking like stairs. I don't want my house to look like stairs. So try your best to square it off at the same time, but also make sure it doesn't look like a box. So as you can see, this looks much better than just having a complete box shape. That was tip number 11. And those are 11 tips to up your building game. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you learn some basic building tips that a lot of people know, a lot of people don't know. Comment down below if you didn't know some of these and comment down below if you knew some of them. It'll really help me out and um, I appreciate uh, you watching. Subscribe if you liked it. I'll see you guys later. Bye!